morning, everyone. It is great to be able to reach out to you in this unprecedented circumstance. I hope that you are all keeping safe and well. Even though we are unable to hold our traditional Anzac ceremony, we feel it is fitting to still recognise this significant national event. In the light of this, I would like to welcome you to our 2020 Gilroy Santa Maria commemoration of Anzac Day. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wagamai, Nawagi and Banjan people, and pay my respects to elders past and present. On Anzac Day, we remember all Australian men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. We also acknowledge Indigenous Australians who have served in virtually every conflict and peacekeeping mission in which Australia has participated since the start of the last century. We remember the outstanding qualities of courage, determination, patriotism, mateship, loyalty and dedication to duty which were possessed by the Anzacs and which have been important in the defining of the Australian character. To begin our ceremony, let us reflect on the spirit of Anzac, which has now been more than 100 years in the making. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, you came into this world as a peacemaker. For the times that we have failed to be makers of peace, we ask for forgiveness. We thank you for peace and freedom. May the gift of peace be ours to cherish and uphold. Amen. Anzac, a single word so powerful in the Australian vocabulary that it can bring a tear to the eye and a lump in the throat and the feeling of pride to just be Australian. A word that has had its origin in the trenches of Gallipoli in 1915. The Anzac legend which was born from the heroic conduct of the troops during the operation of Gallipoli fostered a strong sense of national pride and was pivotal in defining the Australian identity. Anzac Day is Australia's most observed national day. One day each year, on the 25th of April, students from Gilroy Santa Maria College take part in Anzac Day parades in Ingham, Cardwell, Halifax and Forest Beach. On this special day, family and friends gather together to pay tribute to the Anzacs for their courage and sacrifice during time of war. Many go to a dawn or Anzac service. Many watch the war veterans march down the streets with medals polished. They sing with pride our national anthems and songs of remembrance. Listen to the symbolic trumpet playing to the last post and bow their heads for one minute silence wherever they may be. From dawn until dusk, one day every year is given to the memory of the Anzacs to think of them with gratitude and pride. Through us, the memory of these brave men and women will live on, as it is the Anzacs who served Australia and gave birth to the Anzac tradition and international recognition of Australia as an independent nation. The Anzac tradition began on the 25th of April 1915 on the shores of Gallipoli in Turkey. The Anzacs, a name given to the United Australian and New Zealand Army Corps by their generals, were about to participate in war for the first time. They had not been conscripted to join the campaign. They were all volunteers, eager to show how brave and strong they were in battle. Little did they realise the hardships and sufferings that lay ahead. Very early on the morning of the 25th of April, about 4.30am, long before sunrise, the Anzacs prepared for battle. As they jumped out of the boat that day, they were met by terrible gunfire. Turkish, Turkish bullets were whizzing through the air like hail, and many men were killed or wounded in those first few hours. Some men didn't even get out of the boats before they were shot. Others, who jumped out as they ran aground, found the water up to their shoulders. Some men drowned because they had never been taught how to swim. Once ashore, they had expected a flat beach, but instead they were at the base of some cliffs. They had landed in the wrong place. Clawing their way up the cliffs, they called for their mates to follow. They dodged the bullets and ran from sand dune to sand dune, always heading inland, always into terrible rifle fire. 2,000 Anzacs would die that first day on the beaches of Gallipoli. More than 6,500 would be killed or wounded by the end of the week in the trenches, gullies and ridges 
up to one kilometre inland. Eight long months of bitter fighting against the Turks would follow. 10,000 Anzacs would not return home to their loved ones. Today we remember with thanksgiving those who made the supreme sacrifice for us in times of war. We pray the offering of their lives may not be in vain. Today, we dedicate ourselves to the cause of justice, freedom and peace, and for the wisdom and strength to build a better world. Let us pray. God of life, on this day we rejoice in the new life of your Son, the risen Jesus, gives us. We thank you for this treasured land of ours. Today, as we remember the Anzac soldiers who fought to protect our country, help us to strive for peace in all we do. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We will bring to our sacred space candles of remembrance, which remind us of the internal flame, which burns in war memorials across Australia. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love one another. In a world where so many live in fear of being hurt or killed or going hungry and of losing their homes and loved ones, let us pray that we will be able to respond to Jesus' call. The response is, make us people of peace. God of peace. We pray for our world. Bless all the people who work tirelessly around our world for peace and freedom. Hear us, loving God. Make us people of peace. God of peace, we pray for all Australians. Help us value our freedom, the beauty of our land, and our way of life. Hear us, loving God. Make us people of peace. God of peace, we pray for those whose lives have been affected by war. Give them hope that peace will come. Hear us, loving God. Make us people of peace. God of peace, we pray for all families of soldiers who have gone to war. Be with them in their worry and their grief. Hear us, loving God. Make us people of peace. God of peace, we pray for those who have lost their lives as a result of conflict. May they rest in peace with you. Hear us, loving God. God of peace, we pray for peace in our own hearts, in this community, and in our family. May we be learned to be peacemakers in our daily lives. Hear us, loving God. God of peace, you send your Son to bring peace to the world. May we follow this example in our words, thoughts, and actions. We ask this through Jesus' name. Amen. We will now commence the memorial section of our ceremony. Could the college captains please lay a wreath while we reflect on the sacrifices made by Australian servicemen and women, both past and present? is a poem by Lawrence Binion entitled For the Fallen. In this we call to mind those who never come back, those who never grow old. Let us reflect on what we have heard and pray for future peace as we listen. Ode to the Fallen. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going
going down of the sun, and in the morning we will remember them, lest we forget. The last post is played on a bugle. This is an old tra Australian tradition dating back to the 18th century. At this call, the guard was placed around the fort or barracks. Please observe a minute's silence while Mr. Louis Piotto plays the last post, after which a traditional bugle call of reveille will be heard. <laughs> Please stand for the Australian National Anthem. for the concluding prayer. Together, let us pray. God of peace, we pray for all who demonstrate love and peace in our world. May we learn from their past and strive to spread the message of Jesus' love throughout our earth. We ask for the gift of peace in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
I would like to thank you all for being a part of the Gilroy Santa Maria Anzac Day Commemoration Liturgy. Stay safe and God bless you all.